Good evening, everyone. How are you today? Okay, so I was trying to do the Facebook Live earlier, but uh, I got distracted. I literally haven't been home all day long. I uh, left to meet my friend Sherry um, at 10 o'clock this morning, and I ended with, um, I ended up having random meetings today, and I just got home. So, um, you know, you never know as an entrepreneur what your day is going to bring. It's not like uh, if you have one of those J-O-Bs where you know what time you go to work and what time you're coming home. Anyway, what am I talking about today? Today, my title is, Why Do People Buy From You Instead Of Your Competition? So, number one, uh, personally, for me, I don't believe in competition. That's just me, because uh, why? Why do I believe that there's no such thing as competition? Because of this reason. No one on this planet is exactly like you. Not one person, not one person that's ever lived has the exact same DNA, the exact same uh, life experiences, anything. Nobody is alike. Nobody. It's like snowflakes, right? So I don't believe in competition because we're all different. So I was listening to, um, I'm trying to think, it was a, it was a video, um, it was not a podcast, but it was like a Zoom and someone was on there teaching about... Um, Oh, I know what it was. It was a customer that was talking on this video and people that were this people selling the item were listening to this customer as to why he purchased from a certain person. Okay. One per person. He said he knew a lot of people that were selling this particular product, but he was determined to buy from this particular person. It didn't mean that she had anything different to sell. She had the same exact thing to sell, okay? But he was determined to buy from her. So they were all asking, well, why? Why did you buy from her? And he said, well, I really understood the value of this product. I knew that it was going to help me in my business. I knew it was going to be awesome. Um, but here's the thing. He started getting, uh, he got newsletters. He got physical greeting cards in the mail from her. He got, um, she kept in touch with him. And what was crazy is, you know, we all know that nobody likes emails anymore. So most people aren't reading the emails. And he even admitted, he said, I get, I was getting all these newsletters every single uh, month uh, or week, actually. I think it was every week. And he said, most of them, I, he probably, he said, I might have opened two. Um, but he said her name showed up. So when the email came, he saw her name. And so when it was time for him to go, you know what, I really want to buy this product, her name was top of mind. And she had sent him um, a, a greeting card. He, she had kept in touch with him. And he said, he goes, I know that all these different people want my business, but I want her to get the credit. I want her to get the commission because she stayed top of mind. She appreciated me. Um, she was the only one that kept in touch with him. So it really wasn't about who was offering the value because everybody was offering the same thing. He chose the person that built a relationship with him, even if it was just through a physical greeting card or or seeing her name at the top of the email. He felt that she was giving him more value and she was top of mind. So that is my tip of the day is think about that. When you, if I'm sure I it's funny, I, I met with a realtor today and I said, you know what, I just got done um, I had some virtual assistants do some research to, to get me names of all the realtors in the area and the agents and the brokers and all that kind of thing. And I said, holy cow. There are thousands of them. And I said, what makes you stand out from the rest of those realtors? So that's what I love working with people on. My, my favorite clients are the ones where we get to sit down and go, okay, you have a lot of competition, even though I don't believe in that. So let's figure out what sets you apart when people are looking for that product or service. So anyway, contact me. I, have, um, I would love to talk to you. By the way, I didn't even introduce myself or any of those you out there that don't even know who I am, I'm Sue Brooke, and I absolutely can't stand seeing entrepreneurs struggling and spending time, too much time and money, which is the same thing, right, on things that aren't moving the needle forward in their business. And um, I just really want to help you find what is going to help you move your business forward um, with and save time and save money. So I would love to chat with you. I would love to figure out, you know, help you brainstorm and come up with ideas for your business. So my, um, if you want to get in touch with me, my 
my website is suebrook.com and you can go to meetwithsue.com and you can set up a time to meet with me so anyway i love you guys thank you so much for being here i would love for you to post in the comments um what your business is if you have a business give me you know promote yourself a little bit i love helping people promote their businesses so go ahead and put in the in the chat tell me a little bit about what your business is and and let the world know how to find you all right you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you soon. Meet with Sue.com. Let's chat. Okay, bye.